Uh, may the Tonight, play top play. officials charged with protecting the nation's voting system say Russia remains a threat to upcoming midterm elections this November. Based on this prior demonstration of capability and intent, we are planning and preparing as if they'll try again this fall and beyond. The Justice Department recently indicted 12 Russian intelligence officials for leading Russian efforts to interfere in the 2016 election. This just days before President Trump once again questioned the U.S. intelligence community's confident assessment blaming the Kremlin. My people came to me, Dan Coates came to me and some others, they said they think it's Russia. Uh, I have uh, President Putin. Uh, he just said it's not Russia. Other members of the Trump administration continue to cast a much darker view of Russia. We don't trust Russia. We don't trust Putin. We never will. They're never going to be our friend. That's just a fact. And tonight concerned that Russian government hackers have carried out probing cyber attacks on vital U.S. infrastructure, including the power grid, potentially giving the Kremlin the ability to turn off the lights. Earlier this year, the Department of Homeland Security and FBI detailed a two-year multi-stage effort by Moscow targeting hundreds of companies that they believe is still ongoing. The hackers first gained access to small energy-related companies, planting malware that then allowed them to move into larger networks. Once inside the energy suppliers, the Russians collected information on the facility's control systems, attempting to acquire the ability to turn those systems off. They're identifying targets. They're positioning uh, malware so they could pull the trigger when they wanted to. But they're also sending the United States a message. Um, we are in position to cause harm if we wanted to do it. And so you, the U.S., should be a little more careful. A spokesperson for DHS cautions that while hundreds of companies were targeted, the Russians' access was limited and, quote, would not have had any impact on the larger grid if taken offline. The Russians targeted other crucial sectors as well, including nuclear power, water, aviation, and manufacturing. Experts see the intrusions as a possible precursor to an unprecedented Russian cyber attack that could, in the event of all-out war, devastate the U.S. homeland. The director of the NSA and commander of U.S. Cyber Command says that Russia presents a clear and present danger. Our adversaries will continue to penetrate and try to penetrate uh, such things as our critical infrastructure. What should we do about that? And I say I, I think it's both the idea of being vigilant about that, certainly. It's also the idea of being able to act forward.